Hello, everyone. I'm Dr. Ann Furrier. I'm the Grants Manager for the District. Hello, I'm Courtney Bain Jones, the Director of Pupil Personnel Services. The purpose of this meeting is to share information with you on our Title I and IDEA programs. As part of every Student Succeeds Act, schools are required to host these annual meetings. As part of this meeting and in the folder that you can pick up uh, will be included the Family and Parent Engagement Plan, the School Parent Compact, Parents' Right to Know, and a little bit about the strategic plan. Luckily in East Cleveland, we also have additional support through our Parent Empowerment Center. What is Title I? It's a federal grant that's meant to ensure that all children have the opportunity to obtain a high quality education and meet standards provides funds to school district to assist with meeting these educational goals, to assist with building skills of parents and educators through professional development, and helps us partner with parents to help students achieve because it invites your feedback and how we might spend these funds. What is IDEA? The Individuals with Disabilities Education Act, IDEA, is a law that makes available a free, appropriate public education to eligible children with disabilities throughout the nation and ensures special education and related services to those children. The use of IDEIA funds. East Cleveland City Schools was provided with approximately $750,000 in IDEA funds for the 2021-22 school year. These funds are used for the purpose of providing for education and services of students with a disability to strengthen education, drive reforms, and improve results for students ages 3 through 21. Specific usage of IDEA funds include instruction, appropriate instructional supplies, materials, and technology designed to increase student achievement and outcomes. It also funds the salaries of intervention specialists, paraprofessionals, related service providers, and special education administrators, as well as early intervening services, professional development, transportation, family and community engagement, such as our parent mentor. The district offers a full continuum of special education services programs serving children with learning disabilities and learning challenges, as well as those with speech language and other related services needs are readily available throughout the district. The district's special education staff is committed to serving our students and their families. We value both collaboration and communication in the process of meeting the unique needs of every child. So who decides how to use these funds? Your administrative team collects data and feedback throughout every school year to build their school budget. And the building leadership team in conjunction with the PTA help decide how the funds are being used. Title I funds must align with the goals of the school improvement plan and the school-wide plan for Title I. Copies of any of those documents are available for view on our website. Title I program in East Cleveland City Schools are school-wide programs, meaning Title I funds along with other local, state, and federal funding sources are used to support every one of our students in each of the schools. The primary focus is to fund programs that support students most at risk of academic failure. East Cleveland City Schools was provided with over $4 million to pay for services and programs for the 2021-22 school year. What are those funds used for? Personnel mostly, that's 70% of the budget, including technology and other parent resources and hosting family engagement events just like this. Part of our responsibility to share with you testing and curriculum information. We don't have a lot of grade information to share with you for the last two years because of COVID. The most recent data is from the 2018-19 school year and East Cleveland did receive a score of F on our report card. So our school improvement plan features strong areas of improvement 
focusing on reading and math in all grades. Many of the funds support these goals by employing teachers to work specifically with intervention with students in ELA and math across all of our grade levels. What standards are we teaching? We're teaching this, the Ohio standards for English language arts and math that can be found on the ODE website. And there's a link there for you if you'd like to see them. So how do we get these grades? They come about with the spring testing you might be familiar with. Um, parents are provided information regarding the level of their achievement of, of their child on all the state assessments. Um, and to the extent possible in many different ways, thus here electronically or in paper form when those reports are sent home. We were disappointed in our state testing results. Um, these are preliminary from the spring. Um, our students did not meet the proficient standards that we were hoping they did across all grade levels. Although this isn't uncommon um, across the state of Ohio, um, of course, much of it is due to the COVID-19 um, um, parameters that schools had to work around last year. Each Title I school must jointly develop and distribute to parents a written parent and family engagement plan. This is in your folder, as well as a school parent compact, which is also in your folder. Um, you might've seen them come home in book bags last month from each school. Another thing we share is our parent survey results. East Cleveland uses several different methods to collect feedback from parents and community members throughout the year, including those Blackboard calls or texts that you get, our social media, phone calls home, et cetera. Um, the overall impression of our schools is that we were doing good to excellent and supporting our students. However, our results were moderate um, in evaluating our preparation for students in both math and English language arts and reading instruction, which we know because that is what's featured prominently in our school improvement plan. Um, we also wanted to let you know there are formal Title one complaint procedures. Parents have the right to ask or submit comments to their principal, and then those will be forwarded to me and I will follow up on each and every one. Parents also have the right to know and receive timely information regarding information on the professional qualifications of each of their teachers. As a matter of fact, they also have um, the right to be notified if their child is being taught by a substitute teacher for over four weeks, for four, four or more consecutive weeks. Next, those letters actually went out last week. <clears throat> you are so important in this process. Research shows that no matter the socioeconomic status, when parents are involved, students are more likely to attend school, get better grades, as well as test scores, pass their courses, be promoted to the next grade, adapt to change, have much better social skills, graduate, and to continue their education past post into post-secondary. How can you help monitor your students' grades and stay in touch with their teachers throughout the whole school year? And to help us better serve you and your students, please consider completing our feedback form that's in um, paper form in your folder or there are some computers in the back of the room. Should you have any questions regarding Title I funds or IDEA funds, please feel free to reach us. Courtney Bean Jones, Director of Pupil Personnel Services at cjones at eastclevelandschools.org or by phone at 216-268-6474 or Dr. Ann Spurrier, Grants Manager at aspurrier at eastclevelandschools.org or you can reach her by phone at 216-268-6527. Thank you.